So I recently watched Ruby today, and to be honest, finishing Season 1, I am actually pretty much hyped for this series. Now, I'm pretty much going to get my first impression this whole video and pretty much talk about it, because I do find Ruby to be an enjoyable show, and to be honest, this isn't going to be scripted at all, mainly because I want to get out my actual feelings about the show and not write, talk off of some script that I wrote. So I'm basically just going to shoot off from the top of my dome, I pretty much love the series. To be honest, I wasn't so sure about it, a lot of, it just seemed like it wasn't for me. And this is coming from a guy who watched Sailor Moon and all that crap, and the thing is, it just didn't appeal to me, mainly because I didn't like some of the aspects, such as it was computer generated, so you know, I don't really like CGI, and it's like, I don't know, the character didn't seem boring, and that was mainly because back when I was younger, I only watched the trailers. And all I could see was it was mindless action, no substance or story to it. But you know, I watched the trailers when I was young, so of course I'm not gonna I'm gonna judge it off of that. But as I slowly finally got suggested by just about every single person I talked to, whether it be in the internet or in my real life, uh, one light hub <laughs> knocked my head after knocked. Just about everybody I know, my friends drilled this thing and said watch it watch it watch it and I just kept resisting and I kind of feel bad that I kept resisting because this show is really good and I love all the characters to be honest my personal favorite being Nora mainly because Nora is crazy as fuck just like me and she's kind of stupid and my favorite male character being Rin because this guy was this man is the death the kid of this show and I fucking love him so much like he's a badass beyond belief him and um fucking Jean. Now Jean is kind of cowardly, but I've only watched the first season, so I'm um, something tells me something's gonna happen with him that's gonna make him badass. And heck, the other character that are pretty badass is Ruby, definitely, because she just like a typical character, but you know she's slowly getting to learn. Overall, through watching the first season, I pretty much have. I'm gonna pretty much keep binge watching it and each time I watch it I'm gonna do a review for it each day so expect a review for the next three days because I think there's only three seasons of it so far and the fourth season is supposed to be coming in November I believe I don't know so I, this is going off of from what I'm talking to people and I'm honestly hyped just by watching the first season and I can't wait to dive into the second season which I'll probably do later tonight and it's like this series just has so much charm to it and Monty Ohm read to soul he did his shit with this like he made sure everything and you could tell it was a Monty Ohm thing because of the fights I believe during the final episode episode 16 or 15 it was the final fight against this one dude with the cane and it was like it was Blake and this one monkey dude and they were able to easily like you could tell there were moments from the dead fantasy series that he implemented into this like you literally saw when they were fighting he was the guy with the um staff was literally turning his staff into a gun and I by the way I'm gonna learn on the character's name by now I'm just I'm just going spitball right now but the guy with the he was just like switching the staff from a gun to a staff to a gun to and it's like the choreograph fight just looks nice it was nothing to hate about it the fight was just fucking beautiful and you know getting to know some of these characters a lot of them have really good backstories to where they have it's characters with deeper layers than what you may think because it is war between things known as the white fangs which are basically people that are like animal like they're animal mixture hybrids like some have cat ears and some have dog ears and bunny ears and all that and holy shit another one I really, 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 really hate another one. Like, I get a Discord message just about every day. But I'm not cutting that out. One shot, that's all I'm doing. But basically, you can tell a lot of these characters are very well done. I fucking love this series, and I was really glad I got suggested it. And I have to say that the one thing I can pretty much give credit for when it comes to this series, besides Monty Um's choreographed fight scene, was again, I, some of the characters such as Blyce or Light, I don't, I think it's Blyce, I could be wrong, and it's the Ice Girl, and you know, due to the White Fang always interrupting her dad's business, it kind of leads to her dad and me theorizing, and I'm probably going to be right when I jump to the second season, that she was kind of abused as a child because he was always angry, and you know, each of them having their own dark things, such as John just wanting to be a hero, and hey, he wasn't even admitted into the school, he basically cheated his way to the school, and 
it's a really interesting concept with each of these characters. The one that I find the most interesting, though, is probably Blythe, because I'm really curious to see what her childhood was like and how I could describe this character. And I'm probably going to find out some more, and when I do in the second review, I promise it'll be a lot better than this one, because I'm making this one at, I believe, 12, in the, 12 at night. Goddamn. Um... But yeah, I really love the series, and I really do hope that you guys will check out. Season 1 is all up on YouTube, so I don't see why y'all niggas can't go on YouTube or on Rupert Teeth's site and check them out. Now, I'm going to basically go and watch the second season, and I am going to binge watch the hell out of that. So I'll see you guys in the next Ruby season review. So for each day of the week, you'll get a Ruby review. I'll see you guys. Peace out.